morning everybody and welcome to Kegworth Baptist Church. Now there are many people out there who, who, who say that they believe in God and uh, they have a faith but they don't necessarily see the, the need to be part of a church fellowship or to go to church or what have you. They'll say well I believe but I'd, I don't really feel that I want to go to church and uh, you, you know that's understandable and also I'd say that the the people that do go to church where it becomes all about the church rather than about uh, God so uh, we have to be be careful with that but I, I do feel that it's very important to have fellowship and now uh, whether that be going to a church or been involved with a house group or just involved with Christians in general I mean this is a, a discussion that's that's been going on recently since the pandemic uh, what should church be uh, what, what, what should we be as the as the bride of Christ as the, as the church of God so what I'm going to we've got a church trip today um, just about set off in about half an hour and um, we're going to there's 19 of us going to a garden center together and i'm going to ask the question there uh, what it means to those people to be part of a, a church fellowship and uh, that might give us some answers to the question so uh, i'll speak to you later we'll go off on the trip uh, ask a few people and we'll have a look at that and then uh, i'll speak to you later god bless so I'm just with Alex now. At, uh, we've got to the garden centre. I'm just going to ask Alex, what, why do you think it's important to be part of a, a church fellowship? I think first and foremost, uh, from the word, Paul encourages people to meet. He says, don't forget to meet because when we meet, we have different experiences with God and we also have different experiences in life, you know, as we walk with Christ. So it is good for us to share those experiences. Remember, it says when you meet, you know, share hymns, share testimonies. And the whole idea is for us to encourage one another in the walk because as we meet different, you know, situations in life, we sometimes we get discouraged. So when I share my experience with somebody that, oh, you know, I went through this and, you know, God did this to me, that yeah. testimony itself gives you know encouragement to somebody else yeah and i know you will use the word support as well supporting one another i suppose in prayer as well and there's, in, there's so much in there that that we can do as, as a fellowship exactly and and remember it's all about community you know god is family and he does want us to be family yeah you know, we're and, one big family yeah and as family we support one another you know we relate to one another you know we share our experiences we encourage one another remember one of the biggest uh gifts that is an encourager you know yeah. so it's difficult to encourage somebody you, do, you don't know who, who, whose experience you're not you know aware of yeah i think that thing about family is massive because I know at Kegwith we look look on ourselves as, as a as a family and uh, there's that real love amongst us isn't there yes. as a fellowship yes. which is it's is got to be very important but uh, yeah thanks Alex thank you very much you're welcome hi well I've just uh, collared Ali walking around the garden centre so um, just gonna ask Ali the same question what why, why do you feel that it's good for people to be part of the church fellowship? What, what do you think is the, the advantages of that? I think when you go to a service where you've got a lot of other people, you get community, which is really important, and you get a lot of support and help. So if you've got any issues, you've got people who can walk alongside you and help you. Whereas if you just do things online, it's a really good idea. It can really help build your faith. but the actual cornerstone is going to be with the community, as I say, because they can come alongside you and then you're not alone, you're not isolated and you're part of a wider church family. And I just think it's brilliant. And you know, I've, I've, I've had situations where I think we probably all have that are involved in, in the fellowship, you know, where people have come and supported you and helped you through certain situations. 
Yeah, completely. I was given a, a wrong diagnosis of terminal illness and I was just in absolute bits and my faith really helped support me. But at times I was just at the end of my tether with what to do with children. And so the church was really, really supportive, not actively doing things, just being there and being around me. And yeah, ju just just able to help and able to give the support and the emotional support. Um, so no, I just I think it's really important. Yeah, Alex was saying about us being family, and I think yeah, it's our church. We do really feel part of a, a family, don't we? Complete, well, we are. Complete, we are church, completely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was told, welcome to the church. You go to another one, but you've got a second family now. So that just sums it up, really. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ali, that's great. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. So I'm just going to ask Ian the same question now. Why, why do you think it's important to be part of the, the church fellowship? Um, well, it's uh, being part of something. and uh, It's like when you've got a faith and you believe in God and to be with like-minded people. Yeah, that's good. So you're part of a fellowship and... Um, and the support we give to one another, isn't it? Yeah, yes. And we all can, um, like iron sharpens iron, like we can all help each other in some way. Yeah, and I th I'm sure we do, don't you? We, we all sort of help, help, help each other through, especially when times are difficult. Yeah, that's right, through, um, through the good times and the bad times. Uh, life isn't a straight line or a bed of roses, it's up and down nearly all the time and... Uh, as you said, Pastor Johnny, it's, we help each other yeah. through those times. And encouragement as well, isn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah all those things. Right, and thanks a lot. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to ask Pete now, what, what, what do you like about being part of the church fellowship, Pete? I love everything associated with the church. God, I feel a lot closer to God because I'm a Church of England. But since I've been coming down to that Baptist church, I feel a lot closer, not only for, towards God, and a lot closer to my late wife. I Absolutely. just love coming to that church. That's beautiful, and uh, we appreciate having well, you with I, us. I, I just love coming down there. Oh, that's great. M most of the time when I'm talking to you, out of the words of the elderly come a lot of words of wisdom. Yeah, I really And you're that. hearing a lot of that now. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, what, I'm old. So I've got a lot of wisdom. Yeah, Peter. Well, we all think that. Yeah, well, well, you we do all speak. Love you, Peter. Yeah, we do, and you speak a lot of sense. So thank you very much. <laughs>
All right, so we're back again from the garden centre. We've had a great day, and uh, you've just listened to some of the comments that made about being a fellowship and uh, being a church family, sharing together, supporting, and encouraging one another. I'd just like to read from the book of Hebrews, and this is from chapter 10, verses 24 to 25. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. So it's very biblical to meet together as a fellowship. Um, obviously there's, there's some reasons why some people can't meet together. It may be uh, isolated for whatever reason, uh, maybe through illness or whatever. It's and it's good, we're very thankful that people are watching the online services and that they're being of benefit to, to people and we certainly wouldn't uh, distract you from watching those and and please do carry on watching. I mean, I, I watch the chirp every week and, and go to, to church and, uh, and belong to the fellowship. So it's good to do both if you can. Um, but uh, we would encourage you to become part of the fellowship if you're able to, not necessarily the uh, our fellowship here at Kegworth, but uh, a local fellowship or, or what, whatever's good for you. But it is it is very beneficial to be part of a, a Christian fellowship, to grow in the faith and, and to have that support and encouragement. So let us pray. Oh Lord, we thank you for each other, for the encouragement, the love and the support that we gain from one another. We thank you that we have the, the freedom to meet together in this country to, to worship you. So we pray for that uh, bond at Kegworth Baptist Church that we grow, may grow ever stronger in love for each other and for you. And we pray that people may join us, Lord. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. And now may we finish with the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Hey, you all lead this today, okay? Here we go. Bless the Lord. You will live. 
Oh, 